Hello, I'm George Davis, and it's a beautiful Monday morning. That means it's time to get motivated. Here we are in the month of October, almost at the end of another beautiful year. And all month long, I want to take some time this month and rolling into next month to share with you eight relationships that every leader needs in their life. And part of my heart behind this one is, I think it's important. I've seen it for many years now that it's important for us as pastors and as ministers and leaders to not live out here on an island by ourselves. We need to be connected. We need to be connected in friendship and relationship. We need to be connected in submission. And so there are about eight or more real solid relationships that I think every pastor, every leader needs to have in our lives. And I want to take the uh, month of October and November to share with you eight that I really believe are extremely important. The first one is a, a character in the Bible that we know by the name of Nathan. Nathan is a relationship that we all need in our lives. You say, well, who is Nathan? Well, Nathan is kind of the editor for your life. You know, if you know anything about uh, newspapers, after you've written a, a nice article and you think you got it just right, you didn't hand it over to your editor because the editor's not going to be overly impressed with it. He's not going to just point out all the things that are going great. The editor's going to go through and give a real objective, hard look at what is going well with your article and what needs to be adjusted with it. Well, that's what we need in our lives when it comes to a Nathan, a friend that's a part of our lives, that's a Nathan for us. And when you think about the story over in 2 Samuel chapter 12, uh, very familiar, I'm sure, to most of us leaders, when David had had this uh, great uh, sin encounter with Bathsheba, had uh, sinned and uh, given birth to a child, and uh, had had her husband killed out at battle. And it seems like everything has calmed down. Nobody's paying any attention to it. And Nathan comes up to him and has this real smooth conversation. Starts telling him this story about a rich guy who had all these, uh, these lambs in his flock. But then this one little poor guy had just one little lamb. And the rich guy, instead of being, being content with his lambs, came and took the little poor man's lamb. And, and uh, when he said that, David was furious and angry. Why would a guy do that? And when he got done with all of his rage and hypocrisy even, Nathan said these words, you are the man. In other words, Nathan was somebody in his life who could tell him the truth. And the thing about a Nathan is that Nathan is a gift in your life. The, the, the name Nathan actually means gift. But you have to really understand that Nathan is a gift because many times they don't feel like a gift in your life. And that's because they're really for you, but they help you to see the real deal in, in, that's going on and help you deal with the real stuff happening in your life without crushing you in the process. We all need people in our lives that can tell us the real stuff, that aren't just yes men or yes women, but are actually able to be honest with us without crushing us in the process. Now, there are three things you can count on that Nathan's going to always do in your life. Number one, Nathan's going to be the one that's going to get under your skin. <laughs> I think some of you are figuring out right now who your Nathan is. They're going to be the one that get under your skin because they're going to kind of going to press the issue a little bit, going to dig a little bit deeper than the average person would. Nathan's going to always ask you the hard questions, things that don't look right in your life, things that could potentially get you into some trouble that lead you in the wrong direction. Nathan's going to be the one that asks you about those things, those hard questions. And then the thing that Nathan's going to do is Nathan's going to always be the friend you can count on to tell you the truth in love. So if there's somebody in your life that's always brutal and always bashing you, that's not your Nathan. Nathan's going to give you the truth, but they're going to give it to you in love. And every one of us as leaders need people in our lives that are going to love us enough to tell us when we're doing well, but also tell us when we may be going off track. Be sure you start looking for your Nathan, and I'll see you next week.